Hey there. So software jobs are in high demand these days, and it makes a lot of sense, right? If you look at the world today, a lot of the world is growing digital. There's the digital worlds are growing, growing more and more. A lot of businesses are having a digital component to their business, and there's a lot of digital products. There's online courses, NFTs, and online universities. So the world needs more and more software developers. And a question I see online a lot is, do I need to have a degree to get a software job? Or do I need to have a degree to get to be a software engineer? And having a software job is really has a lot of perks and benefits. For example, you get paid well. And second is you have a good work life balance. And sec and lastly, programming is fun. So a lot of people want to switch careers, but they're wondering they're they're learning how to program and they're starting to wonder maybe I'm at a disadvantage in the in the job market because I don't have a degree. I think that's a good question. And also. Maybe you're looking at programming languages. It seems daunting. The tasks seem scary. So you're wondering, maybe I do need that formal training. And so I, I think that's why a lot of people ask this question. So today I'm going to go over this question and I hope it makes sense to you. My name's Henrik and I'm here to teach you how to build your own applications, stress less, build more, save time and improve lives and the lives of others. Before we begin, I would like to mention that I have a guide called my personalized finance app programming guide. It's a guide that teaches you how to go from no coding experience to building your first app. You can download it in the link in the description. Basically, this application, what it does is it takes your credit card transactions and it categorizes them in different budget categories so you know how much you're spending. And it basically, you can get these transactions from your credit card company. Just log in and download a CSV file. And then you can use that with your program. And I'll teach you all that in the guide. So it's a step, it's a 12 step guide. And I think if you download it and pay attention to what it says, you'll definitely learn some fundamental programming concepts. All right. So let's go in, let's get into this question. So I think the quick answer is no, you do not need a degree to get a software job. Uh, when I was working in my previous job, I had a coworker who had a math degree and then he slowly got into software engineering and then he became a software engineer. He was working with me and we were almost in the same tech kind of position. And so he was able to do it. I also know a mechanical engineering major. He studied on his own and then he got a software job really fast because there was a, there was a company that was looking for engineers, software engineers. And then I had another friend who is a physics major. And he also got a de degree, a software job. And then I also know a nurse who's studying. She's in a boot camp and she's also trying to get a job in software. I bet you've probably already heard of this, but a common way to get a software job without a degree is through a boot camp. So how much do boot camps cost? So I think this article was pretty interesting from computerscience.org. Yeah, so it says here that they train students in programming languages such as CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. And a comprehensive boot camp typically requires 13 to 24 weeks of study. Now that's really short compared to a typical for your degree. It's also a lot cheaper. You can save money compared to earning a college degree. So how much are boot camps usually? So it says here boot camps are usually around 13,000. That's pretty expensive still, but still cheaper than having a four year degree. So yeah, that's some interesting information. There's another website I saw about boot camps. It's called Are Boot Coding Boot Camps Worth It? So just like the previous article, coding boot camps are often called fast track to well, pay, well paying tech jobs and they have lower tuition, shorter class times and practical learning curriculum. So yeah, they also said similar answer as me. Uh, this is one way you can get a software job through a coding boot camp. And some interesting numbers is that on average, graduates earn 80K on their second job and then 99K on their third job on average. So that's one way you can get a software job without having a degree. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, I did have that coworker who had a math ma he was a math major and he was able to get into my company and he was in a similar position as me. And I think in his resume, what happened was he, he didn't have an engineering job right away out of college. But what he did was he found an electrical engineering internship. And then after that internship, he got a software engineering position. And then after that, he went into my company. So he kind of worked his way up and he worked his way into a position that was similar to mine. And he was a really good programmer. When we would talk, he would talk a lot about programming concepts. And then he would talk about Git a lot with me too. And 
I could tell just by talking with him that programming wasn't something that he just picked up. It was something that he's been learning on his own time and it was a hobby of his. So yeah, if you're planning to get a software job without a degree like my friend, you need to have that kind of drive. You need to have that kind of motivation to learn programming on your own time. I would say in my current job though, you do need a degree. You need that electrical engineering degree because at my company right now, we're not just coding. We're actually applying a lot of electrical engineering concepts. And so my, my field right now is DSP. So we're applying a lot of DSP concepts and a lot of electrical engineering type of concepts. Like we work closely with hardware. So if you're planning to work closely with hardware, then I think you do need that electrical or computer engineering degree. So in my current company, when they talk, a lot of the concepts that they talk about is stuff that I, I learned in college. And I don't remember the exact formulas I learned, I learned in college. Like I don't remember all of the specifics, but I have a general intuition of how signals are, are communicated and sent out. And having that background really helps me at my job now. And I think I would be really lost at my company if I didn't have that electrical engineering background. I think there's a way to get into my field without a degree, and that's if you have a lot of hands-on experience with microcontrollers. If you have a lot of uh, hands-on experience with your own projects, your own personal projects, and then you apply at my company, I think then you could get in without a degree. But that's just speculation. So in summary, there are some jobs that you can do without having a degree, but I think there are some jobs where you do need to have that degree, especially those that deal with hardware and a lot of electrical engineering, computer engineering type concepts. But there are some jobs where they just need you to code. And as long as you have a background for that business, then I think you can probably get that job without a degree. So here's my recommendation. If you're still in college, I would say just switch your major and get the degree. Even if you're in your last year of college, just switch your major and get the degree. It's not a big deal. A lot of people do it all the time. And also, even if you're in your 20s, I would say even the, even if you're in your 20s, just go ahead and get the degree because you have a lot of time. Think about it. If you retire at age 65, for example, and you're 25, that's 40 years, right? And so how much, how, how bad is it to just go to school for another four years and then continue your, your career for 36 years? It's not, it's not that big of a deal. And the amount of money you're going to make in those 36 years is a lot compared to how much you would pay for that degree. And I always recommend having the degree because having a degree gives you a really good background and good foundations for programming. I like to frame it this way. Wouldn't you rather have 37 years of working experience with a four-year degree than having 41 years where you're just struggling along, guessing along the way and making mistakes? If you're 30 or 40, then maybe you can just do a boot camp or a mentoring program. I think those are really good because those are more practical and you also have someone working with you closely. So I think you'll learn a lot better that way. Um, but if you really want to take your, your career seriously, then I would say just get the degree and then you'll enjoy it and it'll help you a lot. It'll also help you a lot when you're looking for jobs because having that degree really makes you stand out. So the bottom line is, if you're really passionate about programming and you're self-motivated, then you, you probably don't need a degree like my friend who was a math major. Uh, but if you need that extra push, then yeah, I would recommend getting uh, joining a boot camp or a mentoring program. Uh, I think that that would help you a lot. And something to point out is just because you are getting a degree or just because you get a degree, that doesn't mean that you're not going to self-learn. Even when I was getting my degree, a lot of the programming that I learned was self-taught. I had to look it up and I, I learned it along the way. Even I learned a lot on my job, on the job. So just because you have a degree, that doesn't mean that you know everything. Everyone, every programmer is going to be self-learning and they're going to learn new tools, new languages. And that's because the digital world is expanding and growing. A lot of new advancements in science and technology. And so we need to adapt. We need to get better, we need to use the new hard, we have to use new hardware and new tools. But I will say this is having a degree really enhances your self learning ability. I think being a programmer is like being a musician. Can you be a professional musician without having the music training, having formal music training? Yes, you can like think about Jimi Hendrix. I think he's an example of someone who didn't have guitar or music lessons, but he learned everything by ear and he was a great guitarist, one of the greatest of all time. 
And likewise with programming, you can be a great programmer. You don't have to get a degree. But I think having that degree, having that formal training will definitely make you have good foundations and good fundamentals when it comes to programming. And that's the same with music. If you have the formal music training, you have the good foundations of fundamentals and the theory to be a better musician. When I learned guitar, I was really slow in the beginning. And that's because I had no music theory at all. But when I took lessons for five months, I had enough music theory that I was able to teach myself how to play guitar. And I became a lot better over the years because I had that formal training in the beginning. I think that's the same with a degree. When you have a degree, you have formal training, you have formal theory, and having that will really help you in your self-learning ability, and it'll really help you adapt to new technology. I look at these boot camps and they say they'll help you become a programmer in 15 weeks. I think that's kind of misleading because uh, being a programmer and learning a programming language is kind of like learning a verbal language, right? When you When I took Spanish in high school, Yes, I learned it in 15 weeks. Yes, I was able to speak Spanish, but was I fluent in Spanish? No, I wasn't, but I was able to get around and say some things. And I think this is the same with these boot camps. They'll help you get around, get some things, but you're not really going to learn how, how to be a software engineer until you're at that job, until you have that, that working experience. Then that's, that's when you start to learn how to be a programmer. The last thing I'll say is you need to find a job where you're a good fit. For example, if you had a finance background, then maybe you can find a software job in the finance industry. Or maybe you are in the health industry, then you can find a job, a software job in the health industry. So really find a job where you're a good fit. And I think even even for me, if I was to look at the jobs that are out there, I wouldn't qualify for all the software jobs in the world. Some of them have a lot of where you need to, some of them require you to have a certain background knowledge for their, that type of business in order to work at that company. And that's what happened in my company. I was able to go in this company because I had a background in electrical engineering. And there's a, there's a ton of employers out there. Different employers have different needs. And just because you get rejected by one or a few, that doesn't mean that you're going to be rejected at all of them. You need to find the one where you're a good fit. As much as employers need to find the right employees for their business, employees also need to find the right employer that matches their background. So yeah, I hope this answers your question. If you need a degree to get a software job, short answer is no, but having a degree will definitely help. And if you're learning programming and you want to get into the tech industry, you want to get a software job, you can download my personalized finance app programming guide. It's a guide that will teach you how to build your own application from no coding experience. It's a free guide. And I, I think it will really help you out and it will really help you become a better programmer. And in there, I really lay out step by step how I would think about coding this type of project. And I think having that experience and seeing how I think about it will definitely help you in your future projects. So yeah, download it in the link in the description. And if you have any questions about what I said, where are you in your journey? Are you uh, learning how to program now? Are you looking into getting a, into a boot camp? Are you learning? To, are you looking into getting a degree? I'd love to hear where you guys are in your journeys. And if you like, if you would like me to make more content about this, leave a comment so I can so I know what kind of content I can make for you and what kind of content will help serve you. So yeah, I hope you can find that software job and I hope this video really helped and thank you for watching and thank you for your time. Peace.